we're going to be discussing a new development in the Bitcoin revolution that the Federal Reserve has openly said threatens the entire, quote, dollar system. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, InfoWars is now going to be accepting Bitcoin at InfoWarsStore.com and also over the telephone when folks call our toll-free number, 888 3139 Listeners first began telling me about Bitcoin four years ago. Many of them learned about Bitcoin as well from news stories we ran on the site. I thought it was interesting because it was a cryptocurrency. It would directly challenge the private IMF and World Bank that own and control the private Federal Reserve with its own fiat system that only enriches the banking families that set it up in 1913. So anything that is a threat to that, I like it. Anything that brings competition to that, I like it. I like the idea of state banks. I like the idea of gold-backed currencies, of partially-backed gold currencies, uh, of fiat cryptocurrencies. I like the idea of competition. Now, that said, I've waited four years before getting involved in it because I wanted to see that it was successful first. Because a lot of times, the first experiment doesn't go as uh, well as the second, third, fourth, or fifth. So I didn't want to get involved in something until a lot of the bumps had been worked out of it. And there still may be some bugs and kinks in the system with Bitcoin, but I believe its revolution now is truly historical. You have voted with your dollars going into Bitcoin. It is now uh, becoming a dominant uh, crypto digital currency spawning scores of other currencies and clearly is causing a renaissance when it comes to the way we buy and sell online. It's bringing a lot of new privacy. It's bringing a lot of uh, innovation and new ideas to regional currencies, city currencies, neighborhood currencies, whether they be paper, whether they be metal backed, whether they be technologically backed, whether they be uh, cryptographically backed. It is so exciting that InfoWarsStore.com is now officially tonight launching the acceptance of Bitcoin. And again, I wanted to be able to non-biasly analyze it, talk to some of the top experts out there on it, like Max Kaiser, and when in Rome, do as the Romans do. It has, it has defeated a lot of attempts by the globalists to bring it down. It has defeated a lot of attempts by the feds to bring it down. It has defeated a lot of attempts to sabotage it. It has come back from four or five big crashes. I still think if people are going to use it, it shouldn't be more than a few percentage points of your investment. That way you're diversified. That's my personal opinion because we've seen such demonization of it by the globalists and by the feds. But here are some of the articles breaking it down. Who accepts Bitcoin as payment list of company stores and shops? WordPress, Overstock, Amazon, Target, CVS, Subway, Victoria's Secret, and to just name a few. So there is that list. And now that it's gotten easier to use, very safe to use, in many cases safer than credit cards and other things I've seen in the statistics, we are now accepting Bitcoin at InfoWarsStore.com. We'll soon be accepting it for PrisonPlanet.tv and InfoWars Nightly News memberships. And again, we do accept it over the phone. Uh, here are some of the other articles dealing with who is now accepting it. Dell gets a positive Bitcoin response after accepting it uh, earlier this month. U.S. agencies to say Bitcoins offers legitimate benefits. That's right, and courts have ruled it's a legitimate currency. Paranoia muddles media's view of Bitcoin's potential. Again, now we almost need it to succeed so they can't demonize future cryptocurrencies. Lake Tahoe property sells for $1.6 million in Bitcoins. Why Bitcoin matters, a good New York Times article on that. Financial gurus proclaim Bitcoin the next gold rush. There is still time to get on board. Again, there's also a lot of hype in there, so that's what I tend to watch. Top 10 Bitcoin merchant sites, another story breaking that down. Now, 190 countries are now moving into Bitcoin, so it's a global phenomenon. Now, here's the other side of the coin. Beware of Bitcoin, U.S. Consumer Agency warns. Digital currencies such as Bitcoin carry significant risk 
Feds warn Miami Herald, U.S. watchdog calls Bitcoin Wild West of finance. Well, you know what? I like the Wild West as long as people have been warned about it. All over the world, the globalists are moving to do bail-ins and steal large sections of people's private bank accounts after taxes. All over the world, they're raiding public and private pension funds. All over the world, the globalists are devaluing the dollar and other global currencies, the yen and the yuan and others. And so the reason Bitcoin is rising more than anything is because the globalists have been using the fact that they control a fiat currency to give themselves hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, hundreds of trillions of dollars. Some numbers are as high as 1.5 quadrille since the banker bailout in 2008. They've been giving themselves all this money, which then devalues it when we get it second, third, fourth, fifth hand, causing inflation. And so the globalists are causing the end of their own system, and they want to come out with a global SDR backed by carbon taxes paid to them at the IMF and World Bank. That's the public plan, $100 trillion per decade tax. So compared to the new system they're planning to bring in on the ashes of their old one, Bitcoin is wonderful. That said, watch your six, ladies and gentlemen. It's safe to use in basic commerce, undoubtedly. But if you're a big holder of it and a speculator in it, I think you're asking for your butt to get burned. There are a lot of Bitcoin millionaires, maybe even some billionaires out there now. I could have gotten involved in it early as well. And it could have made hundreds of millions of dollars. I am not going to be an investor in it and a holder of it. I am going to let folks use it in commerce because that's what freedom is and free speech with money, and true diversity and choices are all about. Until tomorrow night, and until the radio show tomorrow, Lord willing, at 11 a.m., I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars Nightly News. I want to salute Travis on the cameras, all the great crew back there like Rob Dew and Marcos Morales and Darren McBreen and Joe Jennings and so many others that make this transmission possible. And when you support the InfoWar, you're also supporting a revolution in media. So again, thank you all for supporting us and go spend those Bitcoins at InfoWarsStore.com and help fund hardcore First Amendment independent media and blow the mainstream media straight to hell with free speech. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcodes with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.